now I would like to introduce our next speaker, Prof. Chris Teo. Uh, so, he is a former professor of botany at University of Science Malaysia. Dr. Chris and his wife, Ashley Chen Bang In, uh, has founded uh, Cancer Care in 1995. As of this date, Cancer Care has helped thousands of cancer patients. So that without further delay, I would like to invite Prof. Chris to deliver his thought on the role of herbal medicine in cancer. Actually, Prof. Thank you very much for your invitation here. Now, you will realize that I sit on the other side of the fence. But don't get offended. I want you to relax. Enjoy what I'm doing. This is not my first time talking to medical doctors. This is the seventh hospital that I face doctors. So you see, it's hard for me. But never mind. I realize that the, there are many concerns about herbal medicine. But remember this law. Not all herbs are the same. Not all herbalists have the same capability. Jadilah Profesor dulu, baru nak buat. I think you can be more effective. <laughs> eh, dia bukan propaganda kan ya? Jangan. <laughs> okay. Say, safety is a main concern. Quality, what does it mean? Maybe ability to replicate is the main concern. Effectiveness is the main concern. Alright, let me just say to you that. Just... For the past 13 years, I have seen thousands of cancer patients uh -huh. who care only for one time all over the world. Uh -huh. And uh, most of them who come to see me are actually medically given up. Uh -huh. They have finished all their medical uh -huh. avenues. Barula uh -huh. before Sayo. I just made a study many, many years ago uh -huh. and it's in for 1,000 plus. Take 1,000 yeah. cases that I would see. What do I see? Breast cancer, lung cancer, colorectal cancer, blah, blah. When I look at the result, I say, hey, it still looks like the world. It's a thing. That means what I'm doing in Penang reflects the situation of the world. Now, what do I do if you come and see me? Of course, I will not give you asu to swallow lizard or snakes. Neither do I give you aitawa or momo, momo. I don't use kamyan and blah, blah. I just listen to you and I tell you this. First, believe in me first. You must have a commitment. There must be a total opinion. If you don't believe in what I do, please don't come. Don't waste our time. Remember, you come and see me, you don't have to pay a cent. Yeah, but war. Seek proper medical advice. Therefore, I'm not going to fight with the doctors. Don't insult each other. Let's consult each other. That's the most important thing. All right? But know the limit of medical science. That's the most important thing. That, I think, is honest enough. Third, take her. But herbs are magic. The fourth thing is you must eat rightly. Kenop patah. You must pantang. If you cannot pantang, please don't take the herb. It's no use. Five, lead a stress-free life. Be happy and be godly. Look to your God and ask for help. At the same time, I ask you to do qigong and meditate and be peaceful. So that inside there is internal peace. So, you see here, my therapy does cannot, cannot be just got in a capsule. It is a package deal, it's a concept. And then it requires a change of mindset and lifestyle. If you are coming with the same mindset and lifestyle, you are not going to make it. Now, to be honest to you, I'm not here to try to cheat or mislead anybody, therefore I tell them there is no guarantee. And I can tell you this, from my statistics of thousands of people, only 30% of the people benefited from what we do. The 70 do not. Is it because the herb don't work? No, because they want to find healings on their own terms. They want to eat durian, they want to eat this and that. They cannot, you cannot do that. I'm very sorry about it. It's nothing to do with my herb. It has to do with your cancer. And I tell you this, I have maintained a very strict Ethics. If you take the herb for two weeks, they are not responsive or not good. You don't feel good about it. It doesn't help you. Please stop it and go and find someone else. Don't waste time. Fair enough, Now, what is the science about it all? Is that the main question we want to ask is, is the therapy effective? Can my out my result be repeated? If I can repeat it, can I predict it? That is science. 
not because I publish in journal. That is not science. Let me just give you some example. This is a baby, two months old, neuroblastoma, stage four, prognosis, two or six months to live. And doctor say, doctor say, chemotherapy. Now let me ask you, there are so many mothers here. If you have a daughter, three months old, they are not so good pergi chemotherapy, ask to do chemotherapy. Would you do to your two months old baby? Would you not? All the ladies. No, but no. That's it. No. no. <laughs> two months old. Would you do it? No. She came to see me crying in my house for three hours. She said, no, I will not do chemotherapy anymore. Let's try it. She started on the herb in June 1999. Today is nine years, and let's see what happens. Now, nine months after the herb, till 14 months after the herb, well, she is still alive today, and I hope she is still alive for many more years to come. That will be flop shot. Okay, never mind. It's okay. You take it the way you like it. <laughs> this is a 12-year-old girl. Apa dia? Neuroapineocytoma. Diagnosed by University of Singapore. And hydrocephalus. They put a VP shan in there. Six months later, relapse. There is no treatment. They say wait and see. If you look at that one, no member. 2002. The tumor was 1 point something. 1.5 plus blah. Next year, went for another scan, 2 point something. 204, it became 2.5. Now let me ask you, if you go 205 and wait and see what would be the size of the tumor? Possibly 3.0, okay? Okay. It's logical. Then I start calculating in terms of volume. I'm not a radiologist, so I don't know much about that. I try to see the volume. It seems that wait and see, the tumor increased by almost 200% over percent. Now, the, uh, the neurosurgeon says, no, 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 cannot anymore. Hang on, we have to radiotherapy, keep radiation treatment. So the mother came and said, well, I don't want to do radiotherapy. So I said this, give a challenge, give me two weeks. If we did two weeks, there was no positive results, go and do radiation. If you can see good results within two weeks on the herbs, then we will proceed further. Right, anyway, within two weeks, all the headache gone, she became quite fine. Next year, 2005, the tumor, instead of becoming 3.0, it went down to 2.0. 206, it went down to 1.5. 207, it went down to 1.4. 208, coming. But the surgeon said, no need to do any more effectiveness. All right? There is no intervention with other things except herbal medicine. 